Oi you, it's time for another episode of Dorothy and the Dealer. Let's tune into the conversation. What song, Mitch, today? Always look <laughs> on the bright side of life. <laughs> Always look on the right side of life. It's bright, isn't it? Life's a piece of shit <laughs> when you look at it. Well, do you know what movie that's from? Yes, The Life of Brian. The crucifixion scene. Yes. Do you know how many young people have not seen The Life of Brian? Well, I hadn't seen it until I met you, but I mean, I've known oh you for a long time. Oh, my God. It is the mecca. But do you know? did you hear the story about when they decided on that song? How yeah. they decided on that song in that in I've, the I've movie. actually watched so many different documentaries about the making of that movie. And while it's actually them talking about it, I think, I can't remember, but it was just that they wanted something to be such opposite yeah. to the scene. Like, yeah. So they they yeah. came up with that one to, to fit in that space. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I remember yeah. it was from The Life of yeah. Brian because yeah. I haven't seen that movie for a long time. Yeah. It's, it's really a movie you've got to sit down with a big spliff <laughs> and just... And just be <laughs> stoned. Always oh, look on. And off you go. Yeah, I, I think... Um, I think oh, my God. Yeah. Did you hear... Just totally. I know this is kind of what we're talking about anyway, but mm. did you hear that John Cleese cancelled himself? Didn't he? <laughs> did he? Yeah, because he said he might, might as well or might something because well everybody else's. Because uh, they, th- there were so many things yeah. that like even I think some episodes of Faulty Towers have now been removed or whatever. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I just it think, is. I think it's insane because like I get that some of it was maybe a little bit left of centre and that's, I get it. Like, and yeah. some things, I think there were some things in poor taste. But, but there at was the end no, of the no, day, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about no, overall over time. No, what I mean is, is that that whole era of comedy <laughs> was based on bad taste I know. and things that were completely politically incorrect. Correct. Like, yes. In it's today's climate, you wouldn't be able to get away with any you of know, that. Wh- you know, white people playing black people. You know, um, it, you know. I remember there was Chalky with this this white uh, Manchester comedian. I, I, his name will come to me in a minute, and he used to play Chalky. You know, Jockey. You know, and he would pretend he was a bl- a black person, and and fucking mate, he was like the cra- he was considered like the king of comedy back mm. then. You could just not get away with any of mm. that now. Like you just can't. Yeah, but I don't, I don't get the whole cancel thing because then if like you cancel, look even Benny Hill. Do you remember how inappropriate? Yeah, yeah, inappropriate he oh was. My God, I know Benny Hill was th- like he used to slap the little bald fella on the head, and then he'd, <laughs> he'd run around after, after women <laughs> like, and it was all about. And I, I remember one of his funniest scenes was he came out dressed as an air hostess <laughs> with huge big cans, and he comes out dressed um, as an air hostess, yeah. and he goes, "My my name's Candy, <laughs> and I've got seven four sevens going to my mummy." <laughs> Now, I know you don't find that funny, but back then I thought that was, as a kid, I was like, you know, I've got 747s going to my mammy. He was meant to say Miami. And, um, but back then, I, look, guys are looking like, honestly, you're sitting there like you just found a shit in your handbag. No, I'm just, I, I'm just watching you just like. I yeah. thought that was, because I was only do. 10 yeah. when I saw that. And I just thought, boobs, Miami, my mammy. And I just thought this is the funniest thing. So what do you think has happened then? Because, I mean, comedy, like. To me, <laughs> comedy means you got to take the piss a little bit, right? If I'm going to take, I'm going mm, to. Kind of I have to take like here's how I see it, right? Some people don't want to take the piss out of me about certain things. Some people don't want to take the piss. Like if, if I don't want to take the piss out of you mm. about certain things, it's because I know that I don't know. It's like it's like. Oh, I'll explain how do I explain, it, I'll explain it? it a little bit like this, right? If you go to Russia and you go to where the Kremlin is, is and the square there, right? Mm-hmm. It is, you know, from the time of the czars, it was just opulent and beautiful, mm-hmm. right? Just beautiful. Yeah. And when, as you, as, um, um, <sighs> you can do it, Mitch. I am, you're probably going to have to break for this, literally. As, um, communism came in, yeah. Right. And you watched communism grow and the city develop. As mm-hmm. the city developed, so 
what happened was, as the city developed, architecture f was based on communism, and communism basically said that n no person is greater than any other person. Does that make sense? That's socialism. No, but it's also communism. No. Yes, it is. Absolutely. It no, is a part of... Yes. As, as I'm aware, well, that's not the case. Yeah, communizing, communizing is to, to, was based on the fact that um, to communize means to put people and keep them away from what's happening in the world. Progress, right? Mm -hmm. So communism came about because you had um, an industrial revolution happening around the rest of the world, right? Yeah. Russia had... Um, we're not able to keep up. And what they realized was, and same with China, they realized that if the farmers knew that there was machinery that was able to plow fields, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then they would just throw down their plows and everybody would starve. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. so I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It simple. So they couldn't keep up with that. They could, they could not keep, keep up with what was happening in the Industrial Revolution. So they had to communize the country away from what was occurring in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, with communism... The objective of communism was not to pedestalize or pit anybody. It was to communize, re retract on what was happening, retract on information, make sure that nobody knew what was going on anywhere else within mm -hmm. different parts, and rule. Yes. Does that make sense? Now, the reason China and Russia became communist and, and went through that whole period was because they were afraid they were going to wipe out their population. They were... Their, their purpose was to protect. Okay. Now, if to, to, there's a great study and research on this by Buckminster Fuller, because Fuller was spent quite a bit of time in communist China and in communist Russia, and mm -hmm. um, especially at you know this is um, pre uh, Cold War, during the Cold War, and then after the Cold War. So, and he he talked very in depth about why these parts of the world became like this. Mm -hmm. But when you so. Communism, the way, I mean, I could be wrong in terms of socialism, but communism, the way I knew it was, it was to keep everybody suppressed. There was nobody... Suppression, put yes, but yeah. socialism was designed for everyone to be equal. Right. And that became a pro That's a problem. Right. And right. I can talk about that. I saw right. actually a really good uh, demonstration of that the other day right. with an example of a professor saying that everybody, like everyone was, the class was like, trying to get this message about socialism, right? Yeah. And he said, okay, well, let's do it. We average everyone out and so everyone gets the same marks, yeah. right? So everyone studies for the tests. The, the kids who got studied high marks, got yeah. higher marks. The kids who didn't got lower marks and it averaged out to everyone getting a B. So the next time the kids who didn't study thought, oh, well, if I'm going to get a B, I'll just study less. And the kids who studied didn't study as much because I'm not going to do all the work. And so the average, the class average, reduced and reduced and reduced till everyone failed because of the fact that right. it, the averaging of the scores kept getting, kept, lower. Every, kept, kept getting lower based on how people felt that the people who felt that they'd put in the work didn't get rewarded right. and the people that felt that they weren't putting in the work were getting rewarded for the stuff that they weren't doing. But so the, this, is the, yeah. this is kind of like a... Right like a basic demonstration of socialism sort of thing. Right, right. But communism is a bit different. Now, again, I'm not, I'm not big on politics, yep. so I don't understand it, but I think communism is different. So in how the do sense you see communism? Is communism is kind of like um, the way I see it is that there is a, a rule. Like I'm, I listen to the way how, um, you know, we were talking about Joe Rogan and Yonmi Park and how they were talking about mm. North Korea mm. is that somebody is in charge. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And they rule and they they it's more like there's a suppression of information. They only there's – a, there's a censorship of what people can understand and what they can – yeah, knowing yeah. that, sp so I can understand what you're saying about yeah. Russia and yeah. So, and, so I think uh, and look, China, we're kind of saying maybe the same thing. But I yep. think that what we what you see happen then is that um, as um, communism grew, everything just became morbid. They lost all yes. the architecture. They lost because nobody was allowed to have accolades apart from the higher regimes. Does that make yes, sense? Yes. Yeah. No one was allowed to ha ha have any of those things. Well, everyone, yes, yes. So everybody had to be seen as equal and everybody had to be seen as one. Yeah, in terms that of that, you're right, I think. In terms of like there was a hierarchy yeah. and everybody at this level had yeah. to be had to have the same colour car, the same that's, types of things. That's yes, right. I same colour clothes, yeah. same colour car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, was, so all, they there lost was no all individuality. Their, that's right. Yeah. They lost all their architecture. They yeah. lost all their history. They got lost it. all their culture. Everything got and, – and you see that happen yeah. when you look at, a, at you know, 
Central Russia and as communism grew. Yeah. But so, but it's the same thing that's kind of happening here. You know, no one. You know, there is. There's only asexual, or else you have to recognize every single part of the other. You, you know, of um, the gender the, spectrum. The, the gender spectrum, and so, but it's so now what they're finding it's happening is like, um. Microsoft and some of the other larger companies have really embraced this, but it's it's only going to come undone. Like it has to, you know. They they're getting on there. They're there explaining their gender, the clothes that they're wearing, you know, the color uh, of their eyes, their hair. Did you see? Did yes, you see I some? was listening to that, and I because uh, they were basically fucking crazy. Like th- the thing is, is that <laughs> they were. It doesn't make sense, right? Because on the television show, because I'm mm. Tasha's watching us, like she's confused. The television show. These these guys are introducing themselves, telling their pronouns, what they look like, that they're yeah. a Caucasian male with brown hair, mm. what they're wearing. And it's like, for who are you describing this? For the people who can't see. So for basically, <laughs> you're basically making them see that you're black or white, even though they can't see you and had no, couldn't differentiate that anyway. Does like, that make like sense? It's like, doesn't make sense. So that's a waste of, it's a waste of language. It's a waste of air. It's just it is like I just can't get my head around it. So th- there, this whole push to become proper, and what we're doing, what we're doing is, is we're ruining, we're losing our history. Incorrect. We're losing our history. We're losing the what what made us who we are. You know, we're we're losing. Um, well, because what happened? So what happens is here is ha- what kind of what I was saying before. If we easily take offence to mm. things, we become we we can't laugh at ourselves. Mm. And therefore, we can't. We don't want anybody else to laugh at us because mm. we are not okay with us. Yeah. So if you're not okay with yourself, like if you're not okay with your the size of your nose, and yeah. I'm teasing you about your nose, you'll take offence to it, yeah. right? Yeah. If you're not okay with your white hair, and I have a go at your white hair, then mm. you'll take offence to yeah. it, right? So we take offence to the parts of ourselves that we are actually not okay. clear yeah. clear about. So when we allow other people to be offended at everything we're actually putting them in cotton wool and saying actually it's okay like it 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 kind of keeps them stuck in a way do yep. you know what i mean because but, but it, it also it also says that there's no there's no power anymore in people. That's right. There's no. Where's, yeah, that's where's, how I see it. Where's the men? Where's the women? You know, who the women who love themselves and understand who they are and are able to hold their ground. It says, um, you you don't need to hold your ground, you know, because and and then you have to shut down and shut down part of yourself because otherwise you're going to be offensive. But so what we're watching, I think, in some way, is in is, you know, it's socialism, the growth of socialism, um, and. Um, it's also um, a, a time when, you know, um, political incorrectness has just gone fucking crazy. Mm, well, uh, that's how I see it as well. But I don't know if I know how to describe that in such a way that, like... But the pl- one of the pl- <laughs> main hubs and places it's coming from is the US, of all the places in the world. Mm. You know, you think about... Um, um, you think about... How, uh, you know, how uh, this way of seeing things, like, where does that lead us? Where are we going to go? What sort of people are we raising? What sort of kids are we raising? It's only a matter of time before it starts happening here. Because, well, so another thing I was listening, because I think we were listening to the same podcast, right, That where they were talking a little bit about it. Mm. They So were you listening to a Joe Rogan yeah, podcast? Yeah, 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 I'm listening to one of them right now, and I think he was talking about some of that stuff. Now, um... One of the things was he's this the heart guy specialist was saying, he's talking to. Is that yes, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I was lis- listening to it because apparently I haven't got to that bit yet. But he was talking a little bit about. I know he's going to talk about the fact that your mm. heart health is how how your heart health is important and stuff like that, and how it's more important than, um, or it keeps the, it. It actually. Um, it increases your longevity of life mm-hmm. um, by more than, say, smoking decreases your longevity yeah. sort of thing. So yeah. it's it. Uh, he's going to get into that. That's why I wanted to listen to this particular one. But um, they were talking a little bit about how somebody who had trouble concentrating was telling everyone to stop talking because it That's was right. affecting him right. yeah. and his trouble concentrating. And, and it's the like, other so everybody, it's like, so here's my concern with it, right? I understand that we have to be respectful of other people. All right, but at the end of the day, we cannot shrink to make other people feel comfortable. 
Mm. And I think that what's happening is, is that because people are getting offended about every little thing, it's almost like that we have to shrink ourselves to deal with other people's possibility of being offended. And then what happens is, is that shrinks everybody down to a particular level because it doesn't matter what you do you're going to offend somebody what it also what it also does though is it also builds a rise in completely the opposite people who literally just do not give a flying fuck what anybody thinks mm. because, because, yeah because you have to have because the balance you have to have the balance you have to have it'll be dispersed in the many that, that this is this is what's happening yeah. and it'll be focused in the few that so you will watch leaders hopefully grow out of this that go, yeah. I don't give a shit what you fucking say or what you think of me. I know who I am. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so Because what we're not does, encouraging culti- people to know right, who they are. That's right. It cultivates people to not accept that they are everything. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. So And then when you I don't get that. that you are everything... You hold on to the mortal view of this, who you are. Got it. Yeah. And then you're then when and then when you just you lose total insight, total intuition, total sense of connection, you fucking lose everything yeah. because you can't connect. Yes. Does that make sense? Because you, I've got to be I've putting myself under this label, and therefore you've got to treat me in this particular way, and therefore I'm no. I, I you can't be. You are all of the things. No, no fucker's going to want to hang out with you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because they can't say fucking, oh, so, hey, nice eyelashes. Fucking don't talk about my, my eyelashes, eyelashes like that. Yeah. Okay? Are you trying to say I'm transgender? <laughs> yeah, or I've got yeah. nice eyelashes or something. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. you. Yeah, so it's, it's – but it's it, that that's how it feels. And yeah. I think that but that's, that's – happening. that's happening with, with our, with our humour and our comedy. Like, right, yeah. But, I mean, there's, you know, like – There's a people, there's people that still push the boundaries. Ricky Gervais is a great one. I love Ricky Gervais. Because he's like – there's people that are going to be offended. Move on. Like no. the, uh, he's got a, a classic tweet about it that yeah. it, that's really clever and really concise that I can't remember yeah. at the moment and I don't have my phone to check it. But I think but Ricky has now made enough fucking money that he just doesn't give a fuck. But you know? I don't think it's just about that. I think he is very – he's got his way of thinking that I don't agree with the way he thinks mm. about lots of things, mm. right? But – I really respect him for the fact that he thinks. Is, he thinks and he's yeah. he does he ha, he has commun- I like I would love to sit and have a conversation about Ricky, with Ricky Gervais yeah. right about certain things because I feel like yeah. there would be things that I'd like to argue points on and get his understanding of it but I love the fact that he just says it how he feels it mm. that's what I respect and that's what I think we are missing a lot of yeah. I think people are really shrinking to make uh, to make sure that everybody is taken care of we've talked about triggers before in the past but that's what happens when you got trigger warnings on your post oh well, let's okay all of you people who can possibly be offended don't look at this yeah. and the thing is is that that's exactly what you need to look at if you want to move mm. i'm not saying don't respect yourself and understand your space but at the end of the day some of these things if you want to move you have to be triggered you have to be mo- you have to be poked yeah if i if i had not been poked right I would not have moved. If you had not been poked mm. and made sure to see your life in a different way, you would never have moved. You still would have been where you were before. So the question is, so that meeting you were talking about was actually a communist meeting. Which one? The one that you were talking about where the, the guy has gone, could, could everybody just please keep it down? Because oh, was it? That right. It yeah. was a communist meeting. Right. But th- the question then is that we have to ask ourselves is like – there's certain things that you know can only stand, a s- will only hang around for a certain amount of time, right? Like you know that um, rollerblades were only popular for a certain mm-hmm. amount of time. Does that make sense? Yo-yos were popular for a certain amount of time. <laughs> Fads. Fads. But this is also a fad. But where is it going to, where is it, the question is ultimately where is it going to lead us? Is it going to lead into a divide? Yeah. And what are we going to lose culturally in our movies and with our comedy? What are we going to lose? You know, like well, this we're is talking where about Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle will, as w- w- you'll see, you just have to. He will fucking still load an uh, load an audience with fifty thousand people. It doesn't course, fucking matter. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what they what how he gets attacked. He'll still load an audience that way. But but for the people that are up and coming, you know, where does hu- where does humor end up with if if with this sort of situation, what happens? Yeah, you know, how, how, what happens to humor? What is now funny? 
but that's the thing. People can can't find anything funny because no, everything would be offensive. Because it's offensive. But so this is the thing. This is what I don't like about the cancelling of things because we don't learn. There's things that we can learn from the things, the mistakes we've made in our past. But if you erase all of those mistakes, mm. what are you going to learn? You erase episodes of Faulty Towers. What are you going to learn? Like yeah. how are you going to grow? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make any, any sense. sense. You can look at that stuff now and go, whoa, some of it you might like. Okay, now, now me personally, I don't because I think Faulty Towers was brilliant, yeah. right? Yeah. But I can understand that perhaps now there might be ways and means that you would do things that would change certain languaging and things like that. But at the end of the day, right, the like to remove that stuff is to me does not make any sense. I know, sense. but it's even like, like even Little Britain. I know. Like they went in and removed some and, and apologised. I know. But, but that pisses me off I because mean, I agree they're apologising. But they're apo- what are you apologising for? It's like no, but it, and also you're only apologising because it fucking fits. Yeah, it's you virtue know, fu- signalling. Fuck you. I yeah. mean, what? What? what I've no respect for you if you do that just because the f- because you don't want to fucking lose income or you don't want to lose revenue or you don't want to be disliked. Mm. You know, that's what happens. So I, what does that say to all the people that loved what you did? I. That's what I think. As well, I think those things you can come out and go. We were different people back there. I'm not going to apologise for the person I was back there. Here is who I am now. Yeah. You know, and understand that maybe that some some of that stuff. Whether I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I think was inappropriate, but yeah. I can imagine there's things that maybe crossed certain lines, and I get that. But well, I mean, the the, the woman who kept walking into the shopping centre and pissing on the floor, and then you had the was other that in Little Britain. Yeah, that was Little Britain. Who was that one? Remember, she'd she? walk in. She'd walk in and. She'd just stand there talking and then suddenly she'd just start pissing oh, on the floor. I mean, the whole what thing was what like, some of it was in bad taste anyway. Like, what about but the I other woman who was at the, uh, remember? Uh, uh, bubbles of bubbles, <laughs> bubbles of, And then her friend turned up and she was like black. Remember? And yeah. She, and <laughs> like, they were brilliant together, you know? Yeah, they Absolutely were. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they were. But I don't know. I don't know. But here's what I think I think. That the answer is in being clear. I think that ho- all of it comes back to being clear with yourself. Because mm. at the end of the day, if you in your own little world can stand up and understand that you're not taking offence at things, not expecting other people to change who they are to make sure that you're not getting offended, um, to be... Um, uh, hold on. What are they trying to make though? What's the What's the, what's cu- the outcome you mean? What's the culture they're trying to... Okay, if I do that and we all start doing that... What, what where what is the target? Like where are we trying to yeah. what's the, the culture we're trying to get to? What's the society we're trying to live in? Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Do you? No. 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 Because it, how does that look? I, like I'm just trying to picture it. It's discombobulating. How I'm does that most, look? I'm the most inappropriate offensive. You one hundred percent are. So, you know, I I really know that I am. Like yeah. I, and I fucking you know, I know I piss people off sometimes, but I think it's hilarious. I, yeah. I love it. I, yeah. you know, I will get around with my mates on a Friday night and we will just be so inappropriate mm. and, and everybody ends up in stitches. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like like Matt, Matt Guskett, fucking hell, he's the most inappropriate bloke. <laughs> but we will end up literally on the f- our hands and knees on the ground yeah. laughing. laughing. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. And that, and uh, do you think – I think the British and Australian humour is definitely different to the American – it always has been, yeah. though, to the American humour. Yeah. But I think they're still going – a lot going the way of, of like we just can't offend anyone. I think the answer and the key is – just be yourself. Be respectful. Yeah. I mean, there's times where you are inappropriate and it's the wrong time to yeah. be inappropriate. Yeah. Like, I think sometimes you don't know how to read a room. And I don't think... Me? Yes. Yeah. And I don't think yeah. that's... <laughs> I don't think that that is... Um, deliberate? No, it's not deliberate. I, don't th- I think it's not intentional sometimes. But I think that there can be more thought gone into actually what's going on around me that maybe this is not the right time to make that particular joke, right? right? But bit at soon, the end, bit b- soon. B- no, not just that. More so that um, it, as with everything, there's times to make. Jo- if you're making jokes 100 percent of the time, well, then you're not like you're only still part of a human, right? Yeah. You've got to be heartfelt at times, serious at other times, yeah, laid yeah. back, you know. And then there's times for jokes, right? And there's times yeah. for comedy and humour. And I love that you bring that in at inappropriate moments. I think that's good. But there are some moments that are way more inappropriate than others. Yeah, so when yeah. somebody's in a like literally mid meltdown and you decide that that's a good time for a random joke, yeah. mm, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that maybe we need a different side of you. So in that respect, I get that. But do we? 
Yes. Think. No. Yes, I no, do. Dude. I tell no, you why. Dude. There are times, there are times mm. where you do it because you feel uncomfortable yeah. and you don't know how to handle it, so you'll revert to humour. But that's why everybody does it. No, I yes. don't agree. I don't agree. T- totally. No, I don't dude, agree with that. Dude, of course. It's why everybody does it. Everybody does it to try. Ultimately, you're not doing it to be mean or nasty. You're doing it because in some way this is a bit uncomfortable and is there any way I can... Jam the loop. Yeah, that's or like I can all the time, flip though. The, that's not like every time you're funny. There are times where we're in a place where you can just relax and it is a funny moment and you can be funny even though it is serious. Like yeah. we will be doing the middle of a podcast or trying to set up for a video and you'll do a random – that's fine. That's different. I'm talking about there are t- there are moments. No, I touched you saying that it, the reason people do it is because they feel awkward. Well, I said you feel mm-hmm. in a moment mm-hmm. of really serious – this moment is serious. Mm-hmm. Somebody is having an actual meltdown over there mm-hmm. because they're feeling quite hurt and upset about something and mm-hmm. you decide to put in a joke. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's not appropriate because mm-hmm. the reason that you'll do that is because you don't you want to deflect because you don't feel comfortable. But what that person needs in that moment or what even you need in that moment is an opportunity to connect. Okay, so watch. And watch so it. you use the humour as your opportunity to connect. Yes, yes. But, but that doesn't mean that they don't get to get what they need. No, I get that. I understand so def- that. So therefore what I'm saying is is that then it's perfect. Of course. I mean, I understand yeah. that with everything that we do, it is perfect. I'm not saying that it's not. Right? right? I'm not saying that it's not. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that um, we don't live in a world where we are going to be joking 24-7. We're not in a joking space no, 24-7, not. right? No, so not. there are times where it is more appropriate or more reasonable to do so than others. And I think your gauge on that sometimes is a bit off is what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying it's not, <laughs> right? But what I'm also saying is is that if we want to live in the smaller scheme of things, we can go more or less. But if we live in the big scheme of things and, uh, and look at what's going on, you know, I'm okay with that. At the yeah. end of the day, well, I've been working with you 20 years. I'm being a friend of yours for 20 years. It's not like it's like a, a, a deal break or anything. I'm just saying that there are moments where it's not appropriate. Yeah. And it's not that it's a bad thing or a good thing, but I think you get affected by that more than I, I f- get affected by that. Let me tell you, I that. absolutely do. Because I, I, you yeah. are the one that wears the brunt I just, of I think that. I just have a problem with the more or less thing. What more or less thing? You get offended more than other people. I just the more or less thing. It's just an awkward situation, and uh, you know, me saying that yeah. it affects you more. Yeah, I think uh. it's just, that's. I think it's just it, everybody's affected in their own way, and everybody's responding. Yeah, in I their suppose. Own way. I really? suppose. Yeah. I think so, but I don't know. You're I wrong. feel like we haven't. I don't feel like You're we wrong. haven't. Wrong. Mm. You're wrong. I'm not saying that. Yeah. It's like. Anyway, so let's end this podcast there. That well, I went uh, like totally like <laughs> mid thought without me being able to communicate what no, I'm trying you to just communicate. Fucking, mate, not, listen, you can talk around it as much as you want. You know I'm right. What are we arguing about? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking that that pot is black. Oh no, that kettle is black, mate. No, that pot is black. No, the kettle is no, black. No, <laughs> that pot is black. <laughs> you basically want me to say. I want you, you to say perfect, fuck all. Mitch. You've already said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're perfect, Mitch. <laughs> Doesn't matter whenever you put your humour in, it's okay. No, it is actually okay. okay. I'm not okay. saying that it's not. No, I'm just saying right. that maybe – did I? so basically – I'm yeah. just gonna. I, yeah. I need to finish. Do you this. want a glass? Of Basically, water? am I going food? back on what I said at the beginning by saying what I just said? By me saying that the times that you said you are joking around that it's inappropriate, right. am I going back to basically being offended by? Yeah, maybe I am. Yeah. Mm. You don't think so? Yes, Ash? of course. Why not? Of course, uh, you have to ignore Tash. Tash, no. look, she looks like she just fell out of a hedge, and she's wearing <laughs> earrings that she's wearing are, Buffalo Bill Buffalo earrings. Buffalo Bill earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the earrings she had on yesterday? No, I wasn't here. Yesterday. She had on um, um, David Bowie earrings. They were oh, I, oh, there was a day awesome. before. I, yes, I did. Saw they them. were they were really cool. Awesome. I don't know where the fuck she gets. Them. Okay. I think she makes them herself. Okay, I need to think about that now because you might <laughs> be right about that. Yeah, we're doing the same thing. We're just doing it in another way, in a different way. The, at the yeah. end of the day. 
Because if me being, being offended is to hang just on a second, not give a you're fuck. right. So me being no, it's not. No, hang on one second. Hang on one second. Being me being offended but, by your ti- no, me being offended by your timing. Yeah, is just as bad as me saying that other people are offended by different things. I'm with you on that. Okay, I, I so get now that. just not give Next a fuck. Thing? Let me explain. Just not give a fuck. Okay, okay. you got to explain that. I'm gonna, I gonna, I'm gonna explain okay, it. Right. Explain so it. if people just didn't give a fuck, right? Why wouldn't people just go around just killing people? Don't know. Because they have a conscience. But that's not what I mean with not giving a fuck. I think the way you say it is that you don't give a shit about anything, no, anyone. No, da, da, da. no, no, no. That's why I've said. So what? You say have it a in conscience. a different way. Well, you got to not care about what anybody else thinks of you. So the way I see, when you say don't give a fuck, what I mean is okay. that I give a fuck about my own opinion of myself yeah. more than I give a fuck about how the world sees me. My yeah. inward world is more important to me than how I'm seen by other people. And in that case, I agree with you because in that in that moment, mm. like when you're saying I don't give a fuck, what you mean is, is this is true for me in this moment? Mm-hmm. And this is right for me in this moment, and yeah. my my <coughs> view on this is more important because I'm that comes from more of an empowered state. Yeah. When you say I don't give a fuck, it sounds more to yeah, me like a, a disempowered, gonna fuck you all type yeah, state. Yeah, no. And I know that's not what you mean, no. but you mean more of an empowered. Yeah. Who I am is more yeah. important than how you yeah. see the, me. The, the great, the great, great, as I said, the great Ricky Gervais in a in an interview were talking about exactly this point was about not giving a fuck. Was like the reason people don't, you know, if, if everything is perfect, then why don't we just talk about murdering each other? And mm-hmm. it's because we have, we a, have thing a conscience. Called a conscience. Yeah. Yeah. And that's an important thing for us to understand because I think there is an attack on our conscience. Mm. There is, there is, th- and that's what's occurring at the moment. It's an attack on a person's conscience. It says, my conscience is more important than your conscience, mm. and your conscience is less important than my conscience. Mm. So you have to be aware of my, co- my conscience and not offend you t- it. You need to tiptoe around me, fuck and you need that. to tiptoe differently around somebody else. Yeah, fuck that. Because then how do you fucking man- manoeuvre in the world? I feel like this whole podcast has been an, a, a permission for you just to be like a... Like a what? Like Throw your jokes in at every me. moment now. <laughs> Just like totally random You're gonna like, me. <laughs> joke You're gonna at any me. moment. <laughs> I actually like that. That was good. I feel like I understood that better now. It's good. Mm-hmm. Always look on the, the bright side, side of life. <laughs> Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. My favourite line from that movie before we end. Are you ready? <coughs> the, yeah. This movie, I saw it first with you and I didn't hear one part of mm-hmm. the movie because mm-hmm. you narrated mm-hmm. the whole, every single line mm-hmm. you said. Anyway, carry on. Spare a shekel for an old ex leper. Did you say ex leper? Yep, Jesus his name was. <laughs> Without so much as a buy or leave, you're cured, mate. I did ask him, can I have like one day on, two days off, a little bit of leprosy, a little bit not? <laughs> <laughs> you're a nutter, you love that stuff. So good. All right. Half a denarii for me fucking life story. <laughs> Not just no pleasing some people. That's just what Jesus said, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whether this is you at the beginning of your personal development journey or you're perhaps immersed in your growth and transformation, at MJB Seminars, we have everything to help you live an inspired life. If this episode resonated and you're looking for more information on how to have an actual breakthrough and transform your life, Visit us over at mjbseminars.com.au and book yourself in for a complimentary discovery coaching call. Also, make sure you like and follow us over on Instagram and Facebook and review and subscribe to Dorothy and the Dealer today.